and then you know the nature will fix itself but it just takes time yeah yeah man well before we have you go i'm gonna call a little bit of an audible here but yeah. uh so marsh and i were going to do a question um right at the end of the podcast of our five favorite miami hurricanes wins of all time during your uh, lifetime I, yep in your lifetime and i i know i'm putting you on the spot here uh, because we didn't talk about this beforehand, but do you want to give us? I mean, if you if you can only come up with three, that's fine. But if you can give us five, I, I want to hear your favorite wins of all time. So just your personal favorite, the ones that you have the best memories with. All right, number one is going to be the win over Florida State when Lamar Thomas caught the pass that was kind of like Daryl Langham's pass mm-hmm. late in the fourth quarter. I'm not, I forget which year that was. Ninety two. 92, the Lamar Thomas catch was so unbelievable. And I also, I tease all the time about the players apologizing. The cornerback took out a full page ad in the Tallahassee newspaper and apologized for that. (laughs) Lamar Thomas beat him. I'm going to go number two, the Brock Berlin comeback, Florida. Okay. I'm going to go three, uh, probably the West Virginia game that. Now I'm going to go 2001 Nebraska there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then after that, the West Virginia game that Tremaine Mack won, I think, on a blocked field goal attempt. Yeah, yeah, blocked punt. On a blocked punt, which was a pretty pretty big game. And then, uh, I mean, just off the top of my head, the Ed Reed return against Boston College because yeah. – it's so great um, rubbing it in Boston College's face anytime we can because of the Hale Flutie thing and that it ensured that we were going. The stakes were so high, and it looked like that Brom kid was about to pull out the win for Boston College, and that would have been a disaster. <laughs> yeah. You know, we talked about the greatest team of all time, and man, if that ball would have popped up in somebody else's arms, it's, we're not talking that. No, or I mean, yeah, I mean, that's a, yeah, I think, yeah, that was a late November game. And if, if they can, I mean, they were driving and uh, yeah. if, if that season could have took a real bad turn real quick. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, all right, man. Well, thanks for coming on. Loved having you. This was a uh, pretty freaking cool. So, all right, let's do yeah, it again. Yeah. When the season so starts much, and, and we, we love you on Twitter, man, and, and thanks for the support. And we'll definitely have to have you on again, brother. Awesome. See you, right. guys. Yeah. See you, Doug. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> dude, that that was amazing. I freaking love Doug, dude. Yeah, Doug is uh, Doug's one of the good ones, man. I don't, I, I, a lot of people don't like him, but I love him. Yeah, I, you know, I, I think people just take him too seriously, like, Clearly, you can tell. I w- I was actually surprised. I have to say, while we were interviewing him just barely, he really surprised me. Like, I think that's when it it just kind of hit me. Like, he uh he's he's grumpy on Twitter because he cares. Like, he clearly knows way more about Miami football than I ever will. So, yeah. you know, I I think people take him a little seriously and just, I mean, he's heartbroken like all of us that that we suck and that we have sucked. You know. It, He's just honest, and and a lot of uh, a lot of fans don't like honesty nowadays. Yeah. They they want it to be sunshine and rainbows when really it's just been sewer crap the last fifteen years. <laughs> yeah, right. It's been Fort Lauderdale sewage system. Yeah, and that is also uh, actually a, a very important topic, yeah. and that's awesome that he's uh kind of shouldering that and and doing that because. I mean, that's a part of the country that that I love very much. I grew up in. I I know exactly the river he's talking about, and yep. it, um, let's let's support him, whatever whatever for way sure. we can. For sure, for sure. That's that's a big reason why why I wanted to have him on so much, and is you know I I feel like he's doing good work there, and then you know raise some awareness. I know most of our listener base is in South Florida, so you know hopefully uh, that encourages some people to get involved and and do what they can no but yeah he's he's awesome always love him on twitter i i would say that he's definitely one of the top three 
accounts that everyone should be following. Yeah. yeah. Myself and then you are the are the, are the two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all I do is complain like yeah. about sports and talk about my candy addiction and. I, mean, uh, I love I love the tweets though when uh, when it's like the the hot girls that are scantily clad and they're like what are you thinking about when <laughs> when you do those tweets those are your best tweets man I, I love those every single time I wish I could set alerts for just those tweets I you know what I I like being I I like to consider myself as a funny person like that tweet I sent the other night when um when I was hanging out with a girl and uh, yeah I mean not to brag or anything but I started uh. <laughs> I don't know how the conversation I, – I brought the conversation to baseball, and I started talking about the 1996 Yankees. I was talking to her for like 20, 25 minutes, and she didn't say a word. No wonder she hasn't texted me back. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I, I just – I I care too much, you know? Yeah. That's the only thing I can talk about. Like, I mean, people, like girls want to talk about like political issues. I don't know what the hell you're saying, yeah. you know? Or like they want to go. Uh, let me ask you this. Let me ask you something. Um, you're from Utah. Do you like hiking? Nope, I really don't. Thank, thank you. Isn't it the worst thing in the world? Yeah, I don't like snowboarding or skiing either. I hate the snow. Me too, man. I hate it. I hate it. You know what I did all and winter people... growing up was I played basketball like twice a day. Yeah. That's all I did in the winter growing up. And, and pe- people in my mention say, "Oh, Marshall, you should start hiking." No, I won't start hiking. What are you nuts? What are you crazy? My my life has been football, base, baseball, basketball since the day I was born, and my dad made sure of it. So I it was a nice to... day. I went out and played catch, or I went, you know, he hit ground balls to me and my brothers, or you know, we were out playing basketball in the backyard, like. My no hiking for me. No mountains. No snowboarding. So things. stupid. You get all sweaty. You can't breathe. You get yep. animals. There's an there's animals <laughs> that you can die from. Yep. Like last time I went hiking, there was like a moose, and I'm like, why the hell am I here? Yeah. I don't belong outdoors. But yeah, my future wife, I like she. I don't know who she is or where she is. Yep. Um, if she exists, she probably exists. Um. But she's gonna hate. I got a funny story. I got a funny story. She's so, gonna hate me because like all I want, like all I ever want to do is just sit on my couch with my dog and and watch sports. That's all I ever want to do. And she's going to hate me. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I I feel you. I, I, What's your funny story though? I I, I just had a flashback to uh, like before one of the high school dances, you know, like all of my friends, they're like, Hey, we're going to go up to this spot in the mountains. There's a, this great sledding, whatever. But we had to hike in the snow a little bit. Oh God. And I've always been a pretty big dude. Like even when I'm skinny and like, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty skinny and, and in good shape and stuff. I'm still like 250 pounds plus, yeah. you know, right now I'm wearing like a, a 36, 38 jean and I'm like 260. Right. Yeah. Um. So we're hiking up this mountain, and everyone's just like walking on top of the snow. <laughs> then, dude, I'm like 40 feet behind everyone because every two steps I take, I like sink up to my waist almost, just in the snow. It oh, it was terrible, man. And you know, and after that, I was like, this is the last time I'm ever hiking. And I, it sucks because like my whole family, like they like my dad's like a. My dad's a Marine and like, he's just all about, Oh, we're going to go outdoors and do all these things. And I'm like, I couldn't be further from the opposite. He goes like, Oh, I want to go climb Mount Olympus. And for you, like non Utah people, that's a big a mountain. Yeah. And I'm like, that, that, there's not a shot in hell you would ever like, are you crazy? Like, yeah. I don't get why people enjoy that. You know, I know yep. we're kind of not talking about football, but I think this is why people like our podcast. Cause we can, I agree. I could just start ranting and everything, yeah. but um, a story came up. I just had a flashback. I'll never forget. I think it was like my sophomore year, junior year. Um, it was, uh, it, it was a, a dance, a, a high school dance, and it was girls' choice, and they were doing a day activity, and um, and uh, it was the same day as like a Utah football game, and uh, um, and I and I had to lie to her because they, they were like going bowling or something. Like, why are you why are you taking me bowling? So fun, and, um, and uh, I, I lied to her, said, oh, I, uh, I have a family issue, and I went to the football game. 
<laughs> I don't, like I don't want to do. I don't want to do that. No, no, it wasn't bowling. It was um, it was like outdoor paintball. That's Dude. what it was. I'd be all sweaty, and you don't want to see like, why do you want to see each other? I don't know. I just, I, I'm just. I'll probably be single forever because of these reasons. You know, I I would always skip school dances when I was in high school up until my my senior year. There was a girl that I had a crush on that uh-huh. that asked me to do a dance, and then after that, I started going to them. But the first two years of high school, all my friends would be gone at dances, and I would like. I'd put it out there like I'm not going, you know, no girls ask me. I'm not asking anyone because that Friday night, it gave me the, the chance to go to the local Lifetime Fitness and play pickup ball where it was really good ball. You know, it was like, I, I don't know. It, it was really, really good ball at the time, especially on Friday nights. And dude, I'd live for that. It was like every three months that Friday night where I got to go play ball. Oh, man. See, even, stuff. even, even me now, like I, I, I will not play pickup basketball with my friends. I will not because I don't like to show how sweaty I get. I'm very, <laughs> I'm very out of shape. And second of all, and third of all, like, I, I just, I just don't want to do it. Like, I don't want to play against these guys who take it way too seriously. Yeah. I'm like, ah, I just don't care. Yeah, man. I, I've always, I've always, uh, gravitated more to i'm i'm the deep threat you know like i i don't like to to bang down low and pick up ball because like you said there's guys that take it too seriously so i always worked on my my three-pointer to the point where uh i just come off screens and and jack them up and you know i've had pretty good success in, with that in my life that way i don't have to touch people too much and and you know when I stopped playing like high school sports and everything and like and I moved on, it was just such a great day because then I realized I don't have to do anything active for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm done. Like I'm I'm good. I, I I got nothing else to do now. I it's uh if I were to do that, dude, I'd be four hundred pounds right now instead of two. I, I don't I don't know how I'm not just severely, yeah. severely overweight. Because yeah. of my eating habits like they are so horrendous yeah like my mom always just asks marshall you're ordering doordash for the third time today yeah and i'm like well i don't know what to tell you yeah <laughs> good thing that there's well, no good food here in utah i got i mean i could complain but you know i i'm fortunate in that like when i start going back to the gym and getting in a routine like by the end of the second or third week that i've been lifting you can like visibly see that i've been lifting mm-hmm. so you know, that's a bonus. It also comes with the fact that I put on, like, fat and weight like that as well. You know what I mean? So I just – my body just shows whatever I've been doing, you can see it very plainly. So Yeah, I uh, – yeah, I, I just I just don't care anymore. Like – Yeah, I don't blame you, man. That's <laughs> – I, I just want <laughs> just want to sit at home in my sweats, yeah. in my hoodie. Once and... I get married, I'm flicking that recliner chair – you know, the oh, lake. oh yeah oh yeah on my honeymoon like my wife's gonna be like oh let's go do extravagant things like let's go let's go hiking or swimming in the ocean yeah and so and someone got mad at me are you i know i i keep because i like talking about this stuff are do you like the beach um i don't like the ocean but i do like the beach i, I don't like beach. getting in the ocean i don't like the beach anymore i like i grew up in, in florida and like i loved the beach and like i was there in october and i realized eh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've only so I've been to beaches in California. I've been to beaches on Hawaii on multiple islands. And then I've been to the beach in uh, near Nassau in the Bahamas and uh, never really had a great experience. I like sitting out at the beach, especially, you know, in Southern California with with homies and, you know, yeah. throwing frisbee or a football and, you know, drinking cold soda or whatever and just having a good time talking to girls. Um, that's fun, but dude, the ocean smells bad. Like, and and, yeah, and it's cold. Yeah, and there, there are giant so things in there that want to eat yep. you. Yep. So you know, I I maybe maybe this trip down to South Florida that we do in April, maybe that'll change my mind. <laughs> who I, I don't know who you're gonna go to the ocean with. I'm not going to the ocean with you. <laughs> All right, fine then. I'm gonna call up my dude Doug. I'm, Be like, hey Doug, take me to the beach. Yeah. I'm just going to be at my pool or in my, on my couch. See, that's the thing. I go on vacations and I, all I want to do is just, I just want to, I just want to like me and my friends, we took a vacation to South Florida a few years ago. All we did was sit on our couch 
and watch the uh, the baseball playoffs. It was wonderful. And all the girls that we went with, they were like, get your 